Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and what I want to do is I want to make sure my content is always appropriate for the size of browser that's on, as well as the size of screen that it's on. So uh, if this happens to be in a browser, I want to make sure everything fits appropriately. So I, right now I have all this white space that I could really could, could be using the space for something and just making sure my content scales and is responsive. So whether it's in a big browser or even on a tablet device, I want to scale that content. Okay, so I want to make my content responsive. And in order to do that, in Edge Animate, what you need to do is you need to turn it on. You need to turn on the stage. You need to say, hey, you know what? Make that stage 100%, okay? So that's going to make the stage 100%, which is basically just that black background. So if I preview this in a browser, you can see it makes that stage all, that's all black now, but it doesn't start to move the content because everything is locked down, okay? So what I need to do now is I need to make sure Einstein is going to be in the lower left, make sure this panel stretches all the way across, all the way down, make sure this always rests on the right hand side as well, make sure that background covers the area. I need to do lots of things, but that's where I'd start as I turn that on. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to take this graphic here, this rectangle, and say, hey, you know what, for this rectangle, instead of making it exactly 900 pixels, just hit the switch, make it 100%. So now it's going to be 100%. But the great thing is, is I don't have to always, uh, you know, test this in my browser window. What I can do is I can grab this little marker, okay, right here. And since my stage is set to 100%, I then get these markers that enable me to scale this up and down. And you can see how that adjusts. So that's that horizontal and then vertically. As soon as I change that, I have that vertical marker right there. So selecting this graphic, another thing I can do is I can say, hey, you know what? Make the height 50%, okay? And now I can stretch that down. You can see how that starts to adjust, but doesn't quite get me where I want to go. In fact, if I select that graphic, what I can say is say, you know what? Make that always relative to the bottom right or bottom left or upper right, upper left. So I can click that right there, clicking that, and now it's always going to rest down at the bottom. That's actually what I want. Same thing for Einstein, selecting that picture. Say, hey, you know what, for that picture, make it relative to the bottom left. Clicking there, and now you can see that he always rests on the bottom. All right, that looks good. You can see even as I stretch that down, this Albert Einstein text starts to uh, float, and I like it always to be rested, resting right there. So in this case, I'm going to make this relative to the bottom right. Clicking there. Okay, let's check the right side. Yep, looks good. Check the bottom. Stretching that down, you can see how that adjusts. But the reason that adjusts accordingly and doesn't quite fit it just right is because I need to make sure its position it changes. Its height is always at 28%, just like this panel is always set to 50%. I need to make sure that's always 28%. So scaling that down, you can see how that starts to look. It starts to melt in a little bit, but overall that looks pretty good. Okay, so scaling that, that looks good. I can take this element, again, doing the same thing, starting to use this uh, positioning relative to the top right, basically on the right-hand side for this. For this text, I can make its position, again, turning that on, making its position so it's always about 44%. Again, if I move that over, you can see that it says 41%. Always making sure it's uh, going to start right there. But also what I can do is I can change the width of this text box. So I clicked that on, it's going to make that 42%. So if I start to scale this out, look at how that text starts to uh, wrap differently depending on that size. So again, that's something you can do with text. I can start to see my content looks pretty good. Uh, the last element I want to deal with is that background. So selecting that background, what I can do is I can jump in here and I can use, actually I can use presets. So rather than setting the width and the height and the background image position and all this other stuff, what I can do is I can use these presets. So jumping in here, I can check out, oh, do you want to scale the position? Do you want to scale the size? Do you want to scale the background image? And these are all the things that are going to change when you click apply. 
You can center the background image, so it's always going to be 50% there. You can clip it, or you can even make it static. Okay, so I'm going to scale the background. I think that sounds like a good idea. Clicking apply, it's going to scale the background image 100%, 100%, uh, and s set some some other options as well as the transform. Um, but from there, in fact, let's go ahead and preview this in a browser and check this out. So there it is. There's my there's my text. You can start to scale this like that. You can see how you can go. Uh, pretty big with this content like that still looks pretty good and you can scale it down but you notice we get down to right about here and the content it just it just breaks down it's 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 not usable say at this size and what you can say is you can you can tell it basically when it reaches this point you know what don't scale it anymore this will be the fixed size this is the minimum fixed width will be right here and maybe the maximum fit fixed width might be like right here. Okay, so you can start to add those constraints in just by clicking on that background, which which is essentially selecting the stage. And you can say the minimum width. Again, if I scrunch this up, I want it to be right about there, which is about 700 pixels. Okay, so the minimum width will be 700 pixels. Typing that in. The mat max width, turning that on, the max width, if I stretch this out, uh, I think it's going to be about 1,200 is what I want that to be. So max width will be about 1,200 pixels, like that. All right, so previewing this in a browser. You can see there's my content. I can scale that down. Everything fits pretty well. As I scale this down some more, it stops right at his head where that E meets his head and it won't scale anymore. So that looks good. Uh, even stretching this out further. As I start to stretch it out further, about 1200 pixels will be reached right there and then it stops scaling it there. Okay, and probably I'd change that background. Um, you know as well I can change that to black or whatever uh, but nonetheless you can see how you can make sort of more responsive content just making flexible layouts all in edge just by uh, really dealing with percentages with any items that you have selected